Hello photographers, today I'm going to show you how to use the V-flats that you learned how to make in this video right here. The first and easiest use for a V-flat is as a background for a subject. If you're in a pinch and you don't have a nice background, set your V-flat up in a V-shape, have your subject stand in front of it, and then bring in your camera and your lights and then take a photograph. And then boom, you've got a beautiful photo on a nice clean background instant backdrop. I love it. Now you can also upgrade this backdrop a little bit. Right now the V-flat is white on both sides, but if you pick up black foam core from your dollar store for a dollar a sheet and tape that to the back side, then you'll have black on one side and white on the other, and you can have a black and a white backdrop in one V-flat. Now the next use for your V-flat is as a reflector. Let's say you've got a setup like this where you have one light and you're trying to take a photograph of your subject and you do that and you get something that looks like this. And you look at that and you go, that looks nice, but I'd like some light on the left side of the subject. To do that, you can bring in your V-flat and use it as a reflector. And using it as a reflector is super simple. You just put it up on the side that you want to reflect light into. So I've got it set up on my right, which would be the camera left side. And then when you take your photograph, some of that light bounces off of this back onto the subject and you get a beautiful lit photograph that looks something like this. But that's not the only way you can use it as a reflector. Let's say you want to do a full length portrait shot of a subject. You set your V-flat up pointing at where your subject is going to be standing and the background, and then you point your light into that V-flat. That's gonna turn the entire V-flat into a light source that will light your entire subject up. It'll look something like this. And here you have this nice, beautiful, full length, even light across your subject. Now in that same vein, you can also shoot your light into your V-flat to give you a clean white background look. For this setup, you'll ideally have two V-flats, one on each side with lights inside of it pointing into the V-flats to reflect light onto your backdrop. So from the back, they look something like this. And then when you take a photo, it looks something like this. And here you have this beautiful shot with this beautiful, perfectly clean, white, seamless background. I love it. Now, another thing you can do here is use these V-flats set up like this to give your background some color. All you need to do that are some colored gels, which are super duper cheap. And what you do is you take your light and you put your gel on the front of the light and then point it into the V-flat. Do that on both sides. And then what you get is beautiful blue light coming out of your V-flats onto your background. And when you take your photo, you get this amazing colored background behind you because those gels are spreading that light evenly across your entire backdrop. Now I've got one more way you can use V-flats and that's as a flag. Say you're trying to take a photo against a black background and you want that background to stay nice and deep black. So you set up your light, you put your subject wherever your subject's gonna be, and you take that photo. And then you look at the photo and see that some of the light from the flash is hitting the background and you don't want it there. The fix for that is super duper easy. A flag is a tool that you use in photography to block light and keep it away from places you don't want it. So if you take your V-flat and put it in between the light and the thing you don't want it to hit, in this case, my background, then you can take that same photo and keep all of the light off of that background and it'll look something like this. And now you've got a nice deep black background with no contamination, but beautiful light on your subject. So that's five different ways you can use V-flats to improve your photography. And if you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments. And while you're down there, let me know if you're planning on making and using V-flats. Now, if you wanna know more about flash photography, you should get my free flash photography guide. Links up here in the corner or or in the description down below. Now don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and then get out there and take some damn photos.